Assemblyman Jay Weber is the only Republican to declare so far. He sent out an email Saturday saying, I'm all in. We asked why. Because this seat is going to be a bellwether seat across the country. This control of Congress could hinge on the 11th Congressional District in New Jersey, and it's too important to sit on the sidelines. I feel like I have to get in, represent the values of my constituents and my neighbors, and help keep this seat uh, for the good of our country. Weber has put out a long list of local elected officials supporting him. Veteran Republican State Senator Joe Panaccio was a likely candidate, but has decided against it. Too many variables, he told us today from Florida. You go to Washington, you have to start all over again. Republican Assemblyman Tony Bucco says he's seriously considering it and will make a decision over the next couple of weeks. This is not something that you just jump in head first in. Um, this is a very important seat. Um, I think this will become, now that Congressman Feilenheisen is retired, this will become a bellwether seat uh, for the country. And, um, and that's an important decision to make. We have to have the right candidate who is uh, able to energize the party. Bucco has put out his own list of supporters and thinks his prospects are solid. The people of the country and in the 11th Congressional District, I think, are looking for a leader. Somebody who is willing to, to work hard, tackle the tough problems, is not afraid to work across the aisle. And I've done that, Michael. I've done that in Trenton in the four terms that I've served down there so far, and now going into my fifth. The district has long leaned Republican. Sixty percent of it is in Morris County, a traditional Republican stronghold. But at the headquarters of Democrat Mikey Sherrill, a dozen people were calling voters today, and it's only February. The former Navy helicopter pilot and former federal prosecutor downplays the significance of Freelinghuysen's exit. We still have a hard fight ahead of us and making sure that uh, people understand the message. So I don't want to take anything for granted. You know, everybody here in New Jersey says you either run unopposed or you run scared. So I'm going to keep running scared and make sure we do every single thing we can uh, to let people know uh, what we want to do for New Jersey. Three other Democrats are running, Tamara Harris, Mitchell Corbett, and Mark Washburn. But Cheryl has party backing and has raised over a million dollars, and she's already figuring out how to run against some new Republican. You know, I think any Republican is going to have to run on the agenda coming out of Washington. And that agenda has proven again and again to be bad for New Jersey. So uh, we see attacks on our health care system, rising premiums, a tax plan that hits New Jersey particularly hard, especially the 11th District. And then, you know, reneging on the promise to invest in our infrastructure and our gateway tunnel. Weber sounds optimistic. For as much as we've supported Rodney for so many years and people were happy to do it, there was no sense of urgency because Rodney was uh, safe. Now that the district's in play, the Republican Party and, and other grassroots activists realize they've got to get energized, they've got to get active, and they're committed to keeping this seat. New Jersey loses something with Rodney Freelinghuysen's retirement. As appropriations chairman, he'd have been in position to help the state for years to come. The silver lining is that come November, the 11th District will be getting a fresh face. In Fairfield, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.